welcome to the third episode of Dear Yas Typewriter Collection. Um, this time we're going to talk about the Smith Chrono Sterling number no. three, which I bought in the same recycling shop as the Tap O Matic, the Royal Tap O Matic in 1971. This is the uh, Royal. This is the Smith Chrono Sterling number no. three. Uh, which I have bought there also, like I told you. It's in nice condition, works fine. Uh, I'm really happy I have this in my collection because I can type really fast on this machine. It's a, a 1965 model. Um, it uh, it is very noisy hammer touch, like I will show you now. If I like this, put it in one. What I need is now there's some paper in it. I will type in a second. If I touch, you really hear this. This just really loud. Yeah, let me show you. This is not really, but touch is really. It's like really loud. Anyway, it was under a pile of junk when I found it. The box, uh, there's the box it, uh, with it, but the lock of the box is not even broken. It's just gone. And you see where it has been sitting, but it's just now gone. So. Um, when I bought this, it was out of order. It didn't work. The cord, what is it back here, what makes the carriage move, was gone. Uh, I had to replace it with some thread from the sewing machine. And this thing here, uh, this is, this button is gone out. But it was the clear and the set button didn't work. The tab didn't work and the backspace was all the time stuck. Sometimes it works, sometimes if I clean it out, fix it. It's a great machine now. Works great. Um, I show you. This is how it looks like. Tap, clear, set, like space number one, an exclamation mark. Uh, you can type English and Dutch on this. Paper support. Great little machine. Love it very much. I show you the inside. Is the inside of it ribbon, good ribbon, new ribbon? Yeah, I, I, it's a good hammer touch. This feels strong feel to it. Even if you put it in a different, you have the touch control. If I put it in light, it still touches like that, like the hard way. Like it really makes a lot of sound. So uh, it is a bit dusty now because I didn't clean it out for a few months. Uh, I cleaned it out before, so I'll just have a look. I just go tap something on it. Paper support. Okay. Okay. Um. machine loving it so this is a Smith Corona sterling number three you also have a number yeah I don't have a number three it's just, it looks a bit the same there's a different lever and a different front you will see that in a different movie and has one two and three spaces nice margin buttons 
paper holder which has spring so you can hold it like this and when you go uh, put the paper in it hold, keeps like that until you pull, pull this you pull it in and you push this down like that uh, yeah there's something special about this machine because sometimes when you have to uh, when you put the paper in and you want to leave uh, like it is loose from the lever I'll show you and you have to push the button usually like this but in this this is not the case right now be, uh, in this type right it's not the case because if I uh, push this nothing happens when I pull it it stands that way and then it doesn't move at all it's like this is this this moves but the roller is just yeah I'll show you if I put my finger right here nothing happens so I like that much that you don't have to push the button oh yeah oh yeah wait, wait, wait a minute here are the tab settings okay there we go tab and margins as you can see so yeah this is a great little machine um, it's heavy so and I cannot take it with me because the lock of the case is broken uh, color selector the direction the ribbon goes and inside this cabinet is the touch control uh, it has no keys, no cleaning tools or whatever uh, but I love it, like this machine, it has some uh, uh, paint stains on it which I don't get away anymore so that's now part of a typewriter so this is the number three Smith Chrono Sterling thank you for watching this video